folks, welcome to Duena Tech Channel. Uh, today we are in first lesson on JavaScript tutorial, uh, which is going to be about variables and comment on JavaScript and also uh, the syntax for this variable and comments, how we can start to type them or write that the code. And in uh, previous tutorial, I explained how to download this uh, project and how to download a specific lesson code and so for practice and also the requirement for the tutorial if you didn't watch i would recommend to first go back watch that uh, uh, introduction and i will leave the tutorial url down of this video so let's just start today by the first one is going to be the variable how we declare variable on uh, JavaScript so basically inside here so let's just add uh, initial variable if you see before actually having the variable let's run this uh, react app so we can see what we start to learn so I already explained this how to run it so basically we can access it here on the browser and uh, that will be rendering here this is the JavaScript that we just see it here this uh, HTML one so with this text which just JavaScript so what is a variable in JavaScript? Basically, this would be something like uh, identifier for whatever that actually is. So for example, a person has a name. So the name will be identifier for that person. So or if you have a box and you have like four different boxes with the same color, but you don't know what in each one of them inside. So maybe it's different. You need to add a label for each uh, box. So this label will be representing a, a variable or uh, it's, you can call it a variable. So how we declare variable in JavaScript, basically it will start by var, then your variable name in this uh, scenario, let's call it just uh, tutorial name and then uh, assignment uh, operator. And then after the assignment operator, then you would be the value for the value for this uh, variable. So in our scenario is going to be this name here instead of just writing that on HTML here. So I'm going to use so because in JavaScript, we have data type uh, list of data types. So this here will be treated as a string data type. So uh, we'll talk about the data type more on uh, coming tutorials, but this just be very brief for what's why I use this double goodies. So for a string data type, we would use a double goodies or a single goodies. Uh, so that's the data type I still for a string usually would be a text. And then we can how we can use this variable now. So inside how to use a JavaScript with the HT with an HTML. So basically to call this variable, we need to just open this uh, create a process or it's called object bracket too. So then adding that inside here, if we save and go to, to this page, it's still rendering that name. And now if we try to change this or add just here tutorial, and just save, and that's now JavaScript tutorial. So this is how to define a variable, and this actually var for all the JavaScript syntax, but the current and common way now how to write a variable in JavaScript, uh, is uh, using E6 syntax or ECMAScript uh, 6 uh, for JavaScript and how we can actually use that. For example, this, I just added, uh, show here the var example. If you found this example in old course uh, code and you need to update that code so you would understand what var mean. Uh, so instead of this var is uh, actually now on uh, JavaScript E6 syntax, it would be called const and then it would be just same everything and the variable name and then assignment and the value of that variable and before continue explaining this let's just jump up on explaining what is a comment in javascript on javascript you can comment out one line or multiple line and usually we use this comment for example for a description or for documentation so i can come back later and understand what this line of code will do and that comment will not be readable by the compiler or by the browser so it will be ignored for example how we comment out uh, like one line so by just by adding this double uh, backslash uh, to the lines that we need to comment out for example because we have two uh, same variable we need to comment one of them out and just leave the new variable that we created if we save now go to the browser is still displaying the variable name uh, const because still is a valid uh, variable. 
So we have a, a next uh, different type of variable too, which would call let, and which would be using the same syntax of const, but it's a bit different from let. And I can show you what's the difference between. And because now we have two variables, so same with the same name, let's just comment out that previous variable and save this and it still it's working and you can reload that it's still working. So this is the three type uh, of variables so we can declare. So where is the var, then the name of the variable, assignment, and then after the assignment will be the value. And this value is, could be different data type in JavaScript. For example, here we try to use uh, a string. So uh, the difference between let and const, which uh, can be clear on uh, next explanation, but before actually showing the let example here, let me just comment this back and undo the const. Let me add space here. There is a more example of uh, with a, of this uh, variable for with a different data type. Let me just bring an example and show you. Uh, I just added this code here. So for different data type on JavaScript, for example, also this is a variable. Uh, we declare here a variable by const and then the name of that variable and assignment and then the value. The value in this case is going to be uh, a boolean, which is going to be true or false. So basically, this is usually called a boolean. And then here a number, basically the number would be uh, integer or a decimal number. So basically it will be the name of the variable assignment and then the data or the, the value, which would be the, a number data type. And next is the uh, uh, object. And he's here how to declare a variable for objects. We are going to have more uh, uh, tutorials about these that different data type on next coming uh, uh, videos. So this is for how to declare uh, an object with a, a variable name and this for how to declare an array with a variable name and here how to declare a function with a variable name and this all how this with uh, JavaScript E6 syntax. So and last one the uh, how to declare a class with a variable name. So this is just a quick example for declaring different variable uh, variable with a different data types. So next also I'm going to show you how to comment out multiple line as I showed you here how to comment out a single line but here if we need to comment out all this uh, around seven different or eight different lines, how we can do that instead of like adding a double backslash at the beginning of each line, you can just add only this uh, here backslash, then star and at the end here add also star and backslash and that basically will come out this section. So you, I will leave this code here for you so you can come back and later and try to just practice this. So this is for how to comment out multiple lines and also how to declare a variable for different data types. So next would be this how to, to, to show you the difference between const and let. Here just after this line, add, let me add this code here and just uh, explain the difference uh, between let and const. Let me just remove this line. So now if you see this red line is just indicating some error because we have two variables with the same name. Let's just comment out this variable here. We can just keep this lit. So uh, I created here this random random variables. So this variable will return random number between zero and 10. You don't need to focus about this, all this logic basically will come later and talk more about mass and how we use mass in JavaScript. But here, just only what I need you to understand this is a variable called random number and will return basically a random number between zero and 10 every time. And next here, I declare a variable with uh, here with a let, with a let type instead of const. And then I'm adding a condition here. So this condition, you don't need to focus on also actually on this syntax, uh, just you need to focus what it should do. And because we will explain condition on next tutorial too. This is just for demonstrating to explain the differentiation between let and const. So basically, this uh, the name of this tutorial. Uh, by default, it will be called JavaScript tutorial. Inside this condition, I check this number or this random number. If this random number uh, is uh, divided to number two, then try. Uh, return HTML instead of JavaScript tutorial. That's all what it will do. And uh, let me just after this HTML uh, 
uh, or h1 uh, tag let me add to display basically uh, the random number itself too so this uh, this html2 element and inside basically is just random number it this it will be a description and then inside this curly bracket then we'll just display that random number so we can see the random number and also should change this uh, tutorial name to html2 when random number is divided to number two if we save this and go to the browser and now if you see that is html so if i reload the page every time will the uh, the random number will be different so basically as you see now that is four four is divided to number two and if i reload so now that is now number one one is not divided to number two basically that's showing javascript tutorial and that's showing different value but until now i didn't uh, say what's the difference between const and let all right so if you noticed here we declare the initial variable called let uh, inside line 22 we uh, update this line this variable we update this variable value uh, to be html so basically when you need to update a variable name uh, without declaring a new variable so in that case you would uh, use let for example if you need initially this variable would be whatever value assigned to whatever value but later maybe you need to change this variable value to different value in this scenario then you would use let uh, example otherwise you would always use const uh, uh, value uh, or const type so that basically is the difference between const and let and how to declare variable in javascript if if there is any question just let me down on uh, no, down on the comment section and if you didn't subscribe until now try subscribe so you can see all video and tutorials and thank you for watching and see you very next tutorial